What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which I'm not sure why you would be because I haven't posted a video in a month and a half. My name is Reiner and I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. I'm actually a New York City based flight attendant. I know you guys, tea. I have a lot to tell you. I know I just posted a vlog from San Francisco. That vlog was actually filmed in May. So I have two other vlogs that I filmed in between my kind of time off, but I don't think I'm going to post them just because it's a little confusing with storyline of this channel at this point because now I'm not going to be posting in Charlotte anymore. I'm going to be posting in New York. I'm gonna have to explain all this later because as you can see, I last minute decided to go to the Panthers game today. My first trip back in New York does not leave until tonight at 10.20 p.m. And my sign-in is actually in Charlotte. I'll explain more about how that happened later as well. I just kinda wanted to start off this vlog and check in with you guys because long time no see. We're definitely gonna have a lot of catching up to do, so I will see y'all when I am back from the game. All right, y'all, I'm back. Went to the Panthers game, went to go eat. Oh, I went to Trader Joe's to get some stuff to bring on my trip or like up to New York for the next five days. Got back, got ready for my trip, took a quick nap, like 15 minute nap. Now I am rushing around getting my stuff together and then I'm going to go to the airport. Also, it is 8.47 p.m. My flight is late till 10.22. I'll explain what this trip is really quick while I take a much needed shot of coffee that I need. So basically, I saw this trip open on open time for New York and it was super easy. All that it was, was a deadhead to Charlotte today and then working from Charlotte to Kansas City and then overnight in Kansas City literally for like 13 hours. Then tomorrow, deadhead to Dallas and then work from Dallas to New York. Literally working two legs, deadheading two legs. I was like, oh, that's so easy. Since I live in Charlotte still and I'm commuting, I was like, oh, this is a perfect commuter trip. I'll just go ahead and bid for it. And I got it because I'm very senior now that I'm in New York, way more senior than I was when I was based in Charlotte. All right, so everything that I just got out of the fridge, other than my coffee shot that I'm literally like about to down right now because I have to work a two hour flight. I've been really sick lately, so that's why I'm like, Sounding like this. I'm feeling stressed. Do I have a stress rash? Mm. A little bit of a stress rash. Oh, hopefully that wakes me up. There we go. Well, y'all can see like this is what I usually do. I run around my house and get all my stuff together before I leave. That's like how I live my life. It's very stressful. Wouldn't recommend that. So two salads. We're gonna put those in there. And then we're gonna get my ice packs. And put two on top. I have two wraps that I'm bringing, turkey wrap and a chicken wrap. These are all from Trader Joe's by the way. I have two guacamole packets that I'm bringing. Then I have some strawberries that Alex cut up for me. So then we're gonna put the other two ice packs on here. Then I have overnight oats. I got two of the regular ones and one pumpkin. Then I have cold brew and like an oat milk slash brown sugar creamer blend. I was just gonna tell like how I was like, yeah, everything. And then we're going to zip up. Y'all, I'm trying to bring all my food for the next couple of days because I'm broke. Wow, I need to leave like right now. I have 30 minutes to get to the airport. I always do this and I just zoom to the airport. Honestly, should I bring my beats? No, I need to take away. <laughs> so then this is the mess that I have going on over here right now that I have to pack up within literally five seconds. I don't know where I'm going on the second half of my days. So I had to pack like a little bit of everything and I have to sleep in the crew room tomorrow night. So I have to bring my blanket and my neck pillow. Cause I'm bougie like that. I have to have my really comfy blanket. Okay, honestly this is like not going that bad. Okay. That was like pretty good. Do I have my AirPods? I better have my AirPods. Ah! Y'all, literally, what the heck? Should I bring my water bottle? I'm out of breath because I'm sick, you guys. Alright, y'all, so this is the finished product. Ah! You can't see it right now because my lunchbox is on there, but I have my NYC pink crew tag now. 
So now I'm going to whip it to the airport and I will see y'all soon. Hey guys, so it's been a super long day. I hope you can hear me. I'm like the only one in the LaGuardia airport right now. But I'm about to go down to the crew room and go to bed. I'm sleeping here tonight because we're back on that commuter life. Today I didn't film because really I like got to the Oklahoma City hotel last night and then went to bed pretty immediately because I like really haven't been feeling well. I was sick all last week. So I got strep throat like three weeks ago. But not antibiotics, cleared it out, it was fine. But then I was in Colorado for a wedding and for a bachelorette party. By the time all of that was over, I got sick again and I had like a really bad sinus infection. I didn't work for like 19 days or something crazy like that. So I was finally back up in the air last night and I just think it kind of like took a toll on me. My ears were really blocked and if you're a flight attendant, you know that's a little scary because sometimes when you land, your eardrum can like rupture which is super painful but that didn't happen thankfully and today was a really good day we just went from oklahoma city to dallas and that was a deadhead so we just flew as passengers to dallas and then worked from dallas to laguardia so this was a super easy trip really only had to work two flights out of the four now i'm back in laguardia and my first trip is complete my crew was like very very cool it just kind of reassured me that this was the right decision. I really missed the cruise here. I really missed the trips here a lot and I just felt like overall commuting was going to be worth it to get those good trips again, have my seniority be a lot better. I mean don't get me wrong, like the cruise in Charlotte aren't bad. I just think that I vibe a lot better with the cruise in LaGuardia. Different people are going to fit into different bases. Not everybody is going to fit in at every single base and that's okay. And that's why they tell you in training that you should give any base a try and like put yourself out there transfer bases especially early on in your career just so that you can you know see where you fit in and what you like LaGuardia just is a better fit for me and I actually have another trip in the morning my sign in is at 1 30 p.m i actually have a charlotte layover tomorrow night so i'm thinking that i'm going to talk to you guys more then and kind of catch you up on the tea of what has really been going on with me because i have a lot of changes coming in my life and with this channel yeah i'm excited but i'm also sad i'll explain more tomorrow just wanted to check in with y'all really quick and now i'm gonna go to the crew room change and get my whole little setup in a chair I've got my blanket i've got my neck pillow my eye mask all the things to make sure that i get a good night's sleep down there i'll see y'all tomorrow hey you guys so it has been a couple days since i last filmed when i was at laguardia i had a layover in charlotte that next day and then the day after i had a layover in washington dc the trip went really well my crew was really cool i just kind of wanted to come on here and be really real with you guys i started this channel because i wanted people to see what being a flight attendant is actually like and while i'm so so beyond grateful for this job and really lucky that i have it and i really can see myself doing this for a very long time it is hard sometimes i guess like the big news that i am refraining from telling y'all is that i am moving out of charlotte today is friday october 6th and i'm moving out on the 15th these last two months have been really difficult since i made this decision i am going to be moving in with my parents in raleigh north carolina for a little while and alex is actually moving back to colorado but i just wanted to tell you all that i am moving to raleigh and will be commuting from there up to new york city for the next couple months and then i'm pretty sure in february i will be moving somewhere new with one of my flight attendant friends charlotte just since i wasn't really enjoying working at the base and the city isn't like home for me like i have a couple friends here my family is 
close by but Alex and I both weren't dying to stay here so it just kind of makes sense to not renew our lease if we both don't love it here and for me I was kind of having a crisis in July where I realized that I was not happy. Since Charlotte is such a big base, I am very junior here and I was getting called on reserve pretty much every day. I did have the opportunity to be home a lot more being based in Charlotte just because I didn't have to spend the extra time commuting. I might get like a little emotional but I just... I feel like I got this job because like I want to travel the world. I want to experience everything that this job has to offer. Whenever people ask me, oh, where's the coolest place that you've been? Oh, what are the coolest layovers or trips that you've done? My response was always layovers and trips that I had when I was New York based and not the trips that I was having in Charlotte. So in my mind, you know, at the end of July when the transfer portal opened up again, if I'm unhappy with my trips that I've been getting in Charlotte with my quality of life on reserve at this base why am I still here I don't already want to be dreading going to work when I'm only not even a year in so the solution to that was you know I decided that I would transfer back to New York and I'm so so happy that I did that this past week solidified that that was the correct decision for me and for my career and what I needed to do to be happier with my job, to be more excited to go to work and work these trips. And my seniority is really, really good. For example, next month in November, my reserve seniority just came out and out of the 200 and I think 60 something reserves that they need next month in New York, I was number five, 1.7% on reserve at the very top. Could hold any days off that I want. And in Charlotte, in the month of September, I was at 64%. And I could not hold a single weekend off. I could barely hold any trips that I wanted the day before. So I would just be on call at 3 a.m. and get called for 6 a.m. sign-ins. Like I've said in previous videos, the bases are always changing. Some bases are gonna be really junior right now that might not be as junior this same time next Next year you just never really know and next month I did toggle over to see if I could try to get a line instead of being on reserve since I was so senior on reserve it is possible that I could hold a line next month which would be huge because then I'll know all of my trips on October 18th for the month of November. This just would give me a lot more flexibility and make commuting a lot easier. And I know a lot of people are probably like, why don't you just live in New York? Well, New York is really expensive. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a little bit of debt from this past year. After I had been backpacking in Southeast Asia for a month, you know, I came back, went straight to training, went straight into this job. I did take a pay cut starting this job from from what I was doing before. So I just can't afford to be paying to live in New York right now. Commuting is just what makes sense right now for me if I'm gonna be based in New York. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be changing for me in February when I move with one of my flight attendant friends to a new base. <laughs> I just feel like this career is a lifestyle adjustment and you have to learn how to create a stable life around this career and it is possible i know that it is possible and i am happy more days than not since i started this job and i know with my whole heart that this is what you know i am supposed to be doing right now i do believe that everything happens for a reason and i'm so blessed to have this job and to be able to travel and do what i love but it also has been very challenging at times and has me questioning like you know what the hell am i doing <laughs> I just think I'm emotional because like I did see myself being in Charlotte for a couple years and now I'm leaving and it's coming so quickly. But yeah, I just wanted to also thank everybody who has been watching my videos and for supporting me on this channel. I know I have not been consistent with uploading and I really want to be more consistent with it. I want to bid for some of these cool layovers so that I can bring y'all with me and I do want to show you guys a little bit more of like these harder points of being a flight attendant because I feel like this job is very glamorized and it is 
really, really hard. There's a reason that so many people as new hires quit within the first six months. This lifestyle that you have to live is just not for everybody being away from home so much and having to work these really long days. And a lot of times you're not living a routine life. At this point, I feel like I'm just rambling kind of the same things over and over to y'all. I just wanted to keep it real because it's not always a perfect job. I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but I feel like 2023 has really been like a strong transitional year and I'm kind of ready for it to be 2024 already because I need that fresh start kind of feeling. I really do love you guys. Thanks so much for listening and continuing to watch my videos and support my channel. It does really mean the world to me and I can't wait to bring y'all with me on this new chapter in New York City. We're back. I'm excited. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And y'all, I love when you guys DM me on Instagram. I always, always, always try to respond to everybody's DMs. So keep DMing me on Instagram. Love you guys. See you in the next one.